This is Geometry Unit 5, Lesson 6, Medians and Centroid of a Triangle. What we're going to look at, first of all, is what a median is and what a centroid is. Well, we know what a median is. We've done that before. So let's see if we can draw some medians. So we have our triangle, PQR, where P is 0, 4, which is this point right here. All right, Q is 6, 0, which is down here. And R is 18, 8. Now, we are going to let L, M, and N be the midpoints of PQ, QR, and RP, so in that order. So the midpoint of PQ, all right, PQ is this segment right here. So the midpoint of PQ, add the coordinates, divide by 2, or just count over. The midpoint of PQ is going to be right there. That's going to be L. Now the coordinates of L are at 3, 2. The coordinate of M which would be the midpoint of QR, QR is here, the midpoint would be right there. So M is going to be at 12, 4. Add the coordinates, divide by 2. 6 and 18 is 24, divided by 2 is 12. 0 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's going to be the point 12, 4. And then the point N would be the midpoint of RP. RP is right here. The midpoint would be right there. And that's going to be the point N, and that's going to be at the point 9, 6, is that coordinate point. Add the coordinates, divide by 2. All right, 18 plus 0 divided by 2 is 9. 4 plus 8 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So there's your points. All right, now it says graph the medians R, L, P, M, and Q, N. Now, the names of those medians are telling you where to draw them. So from R, you're going to draw a line to L. So here's R, here's L. We are drawing from the vertex R to the midpoint of the opposite side, which in this case is L. We have just created that. Then we're going to draw from vertex P to the midpoint of the opposite side at M. So from P to the midpoint of QR, which makes the point M right there. And then QN. We're going to draw from Q to N. And notice I'm using nice straight lines when I do this because you want to be very, very accurate. Use a straight edge when you're drawing these. Okay, so notice those three medians intersect at a single point. The single point they intersect is right there. That point is called the centroid. The centroid is the point where the three medians intersect. So that is the centroid, that is C. Okay, what are the coordinates of C? Well, we count over, it's going to be 8, 4. So, when you intersect the three medians, they all intersect at a single point. Um, it should be, at single point, is called a centroid. So the intersection of the medians is called the centroid. Centroid. All right, so now that we know that, let's look at some information about the length of the segments. All right, we are going to find the lengths of the segments. So, uh, irrational length should be in simplest radical form. So let's take a look at our lengths. We're looking at PC and CM. So PC is here and CM is here. Now since PC and CM are both horizontal lines, we can just count to get them. So PC is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 boxes and CM is 1, 2, 3, 4. So PC is 8 and CM is 4. All right, now we want to find QC and CN. So that is uh, the segment QC here and CN is here. We have to use the distance formula for those, or you can use Pythagorean theorem by counting over this way and using the hypotenuse. But let's use the distance formula for practice. All right, so QC is using the coordinate points Q and C is going to be 8 minus 6 quantity squared plus 4 minus 0 quantity squared. De delta x squared, the square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared is the distance formula. So this is going to be 2 squared plus 4 squared, which is 4 plus 16, which is the square root of 20. All right, now it says in simplest radical form, what perfect square goes into 20? Well, 20 is 4 times 5, so this is going to be 2 radical 5. So the length of QC from here to here is 
two radical five. This one was eight, this one was four. Okay, now we wanna find CN. We're gonna use the coordinates C, which is eight, four, and N, nine, six. So that's going to be the square root of nine minus eight, quantity squared, plus six minus four, quantity squared. So that's gonna be one squared plus two squared, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5. So this is just the square root of 5. So the length of CN is going to be the square root of 5. All right, you should be seeing a pattern happening with the lengths of the sides, or length of the segments, excuse me. All right, my third one is going to be RC, this one segment here, and CL, the two segments there. So we use the coordinates of R and C and use the distance formula. So RC is going to be... 18 minus 8, quantity squared, that's the change in the x's. And then the change in the y's are going to be 8 minus 4. 18 minus 8 is 10 squared. 8 minus 4 is 4 squared. So that's 100 plus 16 is the square root of 116. Now, what perfect square goes into 116? Well, actually, uh, 4 does. 4 times 29 is 116. Trust me, it does. 4 times 29. So the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 29. Now let's do CL. CL had coordinates um, 8, 4, and 3, 2. So it's going to be 8 minus 3 quantity squared plus 4 minus 2 quantity squared. 8 minus 3 is 5 squared. 4 minus 2 is 2 squared. 5 squared is 25, 2 squared is 4, 25 plus 4 is the square root of 29. Okay, so there are my pieces. I have, this one is 2 times the square root of 29, this is the square root of 29. So let's look at the ratio of the pieces, of each of the pieces. Let's look at PC to CM. So we found the ratio of PC to CM, PC is 8, CM is 4. What ratio is that? Well, that's a ratio of 2 to 1. And then we have QC and CN. QC was 2 radical 5. CN is radical 5. What ratio is that? Huh, that should be a 2 to 1 ratio as well. And the same thing for RC and CL. RC is 2 square root of 29. CL is the square root of 29. That's also a ratio of 2 to 1. So what we have found is the medians of a triangle are concurrent, which means they intersect in one point. But we also know that the medians intersect at the point called the centroid. The centroid of a triangle is actually the center of gravity or the center of mass. So if you um, balance this on the centroid right there, it is um, be perfectly balanced at the, that point G. Now, we just found the centroid divides each median in the ratio of 2 to 1. Now, when you're doing a 2 to 1 ratio, the larger segment, the 2 segment, is the one that has the vertex at the end point. So, CG to GF, this will be 2X, this will be X. All right? Uh, BG to GE, because B comes from the vertex, this one will be 2Y to Y, and then... A, G to G, D. A is from the vertex, so this is going to be 2Z to Z. So all of these will be in the ratio of 2 to 1, whatever length they happen to be. Now notice the larger piece always comes from the vertex that's being drawn from, and the smaller piece is at the midpoint of the opposite side. So 2 to 1 is the ratio that you find. So G is the centroid where the medians meet, and it divides each median into a ratio of 2 to 1. All right, now we can also find the coordinates of the centroid pretty easily if we know what the three vertices of the triangle are. If the vertices of a triangle are x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, the coordinates of the centroid are the average of the x values and the average of the y values. Now notice there are three here. x1, x2, x3 divided by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So if we wanted to find the coordinates of the centroid of ABC, having these vertices, we have to add the coordinates and divide by 3. So the centroid for this triangle will be 
for the uh, values would be 4 plus 7 plus 1 divided by 3. Those are the x's. x, x, and x. x1, x2, x3. And then, comma, the y values. y1, y2, y3. So it's going to be negative 2 plus 3 plus 8 divided by 3. So 4 plus 7 is 11 plus 1 is 12 over 3. Negative 2 plus 3 plus 8 is 9 over 3. So the coordinates of the centroid is going to be at 4, 3. So we could figure that out. All right, so now that we know the coordinates of the centroid are added together, um, let's find the values of a and b. We know that x plus x plus x will equal, divided by 3, will equal negative 1. So for the x-coordinate of the centroid, you take a plus a plus 5 plus 2a and divide that by 3, and that should equal negative 1. Well, let's see. That gives me 4a plus 5 divided by 3 will equal negative 1 because that's the x-coordinate of the centroid. All right, multiply both sides by 3, and you get 4a plus 5 equals negative 3. Subtract the 5, you get 4a equals negative 8, so a will equal negative 2. Now we can do the same thing for the b. Uh, to find b, we know the coordinates of the y, added together and divided by 3, should equal 9. All right, so the y-coordinates would be b, b minus 1, and 3, b minus, plus 8. Divide that by 3, and that should equal 9. Combine your terms here. b plus b plus 3b is 5b plus 7, divided by 3, equals 9. Multiply both sides by 3. That gives me 5b plus 7 is equal to 27. Subtract the 7. 5b is equal to 20. Divide by 5. b is going to equal 4. So add the coordinates, divide by 3 to find the coordinates of the centroid. All right, now let's find the length of the median. In triangle PQR, m is the midpoint of QR and c is the centroid. So I'm going to draw myself a picture here. Here is my triangle, PQR. And M is the midpoint of QR. So I'm going to make QR my base. M is going to be the midpoint. And then P would be up here. And then C is going to be the centroid. So I'm going to draw my segment from P to the midpoint. And my centroid is going to be some point here. There's C. So uh, we know that PC is 4x plus 4 and cm is 3x minus 3. There's the pieces. I want to find the length of the median. All right, so from what we learned about the centroid, the coordinates of the centroid, um, when it intersects, it actually divides the segment into a ratio of 2 to 1, where the bigger segment is towards the vertex. So this tells me that pc to cm is in a ratio of 2 to 1. So let's set up our ratio. PC is 4x plus 4, CM is 3x minus 3, and it's in the ratio of 2 to 1. Well, how do we solve that? Cross multiply. So that gives me 4x plus 4 is equal to 2 times 3x minus 3. We just cross multiplied here and here. Solve for x. 4x plus 4 equals 6x minus 6. Move your x's over, that's going to give me 4 is equal to 2x minus 6. Add your 6. 2x is going to equal 10. Divide by 2, x is going to equal 5. So that means that PC is going to be 4 times 5 plus 4, which is 24. CM is 3 times 5 minus 3, which is 12. So that makes PM... 24 plus 12, which is 36. So that is finding the length of a median. So we need to know the median, the centroid, and how to find the coordinates of the centroid, as well as find the length of the median, and the ratio of the, uh, the length of the median is 2 to 1.